everybody. Welcome to day number three of the AI Agent Challenge, where we're doing 30 days of AI automation workflows to help you save time and make money in your business. On today's day number three of the challenge, we're going to be going into using both the combination of Perplexity AI to grab news articles online, have ChatGPT turn that into a bit of a Twitter post, tweet post, and then we're going to be posting that onto Twitter. So we're gonna have this automated social media content creation system using a combination of these different technologies. So with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? All right, I'm gonna come in on the left side over here so that you can see my window now. And what we're gonna do is we're inside make.com and we're gonna be opening up and creating a new scenario inside of this 30 day AI agent challenge. And so we're gonna hit create new scenario. Call it uh, day three. Perplexity to uh, Twitter post. Come on, we know it's Twitter. I know it's technically called X, but we all know it's Twitter, right? So uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to first get and create our perplexity AI module here and create a chat completion. Now, you need to have an API key for this, and they do charge for this, but it's really cheap to be able to sign up. What you're gonna do here is you go to perplexityai.com and you sign up for this. It's a, it's a small bit of money to be able to make that happen. You need to get your API key, because the only way to get the API key is by having a paid account. Go inside of here, and if I go to my little, uh, ooh, you can't see it. Whoop, there we go. Right here, you can see this little button right here that says, uh, Dylan's got my information, we have this this gear icon, we're gonna click on that. And then if we go over here, we can see there is the API on the top side here. So if I click this button, at the bottom here is gonna be my API key and I'm gonna hit copy. So I copy that API key and then I'm gonna open up make. And when we go inside of here and we go to add a new one, and let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and generate a new one. So if we're gonna go here and hit generate, there's a new one, copy that, go inside, and we're gonna add one, and we're gonna call this, instead of my Plexi, Dylan Twitter. There we go, and we're gonna add in the API key right here. So now that I have the API key in right here, I can I can tell it how many tokens I wanna feed it. I'll just say, I'll say 300 tokens here. A uh, temperature is like how much do you want to have wickle room? Let's say it's add uh, 0.7. In terms of temperature, it's how creative it is. Zero's not creative at all. One is completely creative. Let's just leave it at seven. And uh, we need to add the message here for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in a message, but I'm gonna hop over to the other side so that you can see this, just so it doesn't disappear on me now. And we're gonna create the role of the system. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in the context inside of here. You are monitoring the internet for news related to AI agents. Find a recent article on, from this week about AI agents and summarize the important pieces with stats and facts relevant to business owners that want to leverage AI agents in their business. All right, so that is, you're going to let the uh, system know here what to expect inside of here. I'm going to go ahead, just to make this streamlined here, is we're going to go right into the user. Just type this in here real quick. What is the latest news on AI agents for business owners. Great, wonderful. And we're gonna hit okay. Now we have this, we'll hit save, and let's just run this to see what we get. So we'll click run once, and just check out the output and see what that looks like. All right, we got an output. So we're gonna drill down here in the choices, one, messages, and content and we can see yep there is a lot of news going on in here personal agents and all this fun stuff great so the next step here is we're going to create a chat gpt completion model that is going to take that news and then turn that into a tweet and we're going to want to do a little bit of few shot programming so we say hey uh, here's some news here's what i want you to say here's some news here i want you to say so what we can say here is if we wanted to we can go inside of a say this output, this usage, and these choices here, open that up, and content. And we're gonna grab these, right? And we're gonna go into ChatGPT 
and we will go ahead and uh, create, and this is to train the model. We're gonna create the model and say, okay, here is the latest news online. I want you to take each of these pieces of news and turn it into a short tweet no more than 140 characters and no hashtags now it's very terrible at counting and but we want to train the ai on how to do this so we can see okay cool this is some couple of good examples here of taking that information we've got some tweet messages here we've got these things we could always put this inside a character counter to see if it's less than 140 characters, but just eyeballing it. it looks to be about that. We open this up and say, great. We're going to go into ChatGPT and create a completion with this. We're going to give this about uh, really short. We want to give it very few tokens to play with so it doesn't get all wild on us. And we're going to add a message. We're going to create a system message right here at the top. And I'm going to populate it with a assisted message. You are a helpful AI news Twitter writer. Simple, straight to the point. And now we're going to give it a couple of shots, a few shots here. We're going to go to the assistant and type in, you are currently monitoring news feeds related to AI agents and automation and summarizing them into a short tweet. And then we're going to feed it a couple of prompts. And the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to use a combination of chat GPT in this. So we're going to go inside here and say user. And we're going to say here is the news, comma. And we're going to open up chat GPT. We're going to grab this first one here. Going to open up, paste that in, and then we're going to add a message for the assistant on how we want it to respond so it knows. Go down here at the top, grab that. Message content, hit paste. We're going to add another message from the user. Here is the news, comma. I'm going to go up to the top of the ChatGPT here, grab, and we'll just do three of them so they can see what is going down. All right, we're going to add a message in terms of the assistant's response, go back in here, paste the response so it understands no hashtags, no, hey, this is a Twitter prompt. It just kind of gives us what we're looking for. Let's give it one last one. User, here is the news. Going to grab this third one, go back into make, hit paste, go to chat GPT. This should be good. The assistant knows to respond like that. It's got it short, tight, concise. It understands to do it in a short format. Now we're gonna have the user and say, here is the news. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking these choices. We're gonna go into messages, content, put that inside of there. We're gonna hit, click continue, hit save. And now we're gonna run this to see what's the output we're getting. Are we gonna get a Twitter tweet? Hit that, it's gonna pop over through here to open AI next. It's going to be processing the information into a short tweet. Let's see what we get. The output. Ooh, that's pretty close. Let's see. Let's check out this character count. Let's see how many characters we get on this. Character counting tool. Start typing. Enter. We can see. Well, it's just under. Just under. Okay, great. So we have this. And the next thing we need to do is we need to hook up the Twitter. In order to get your Twitter module in place, I'm going to put this in place for us right now. We're going to need to be able to get the client ID and the secret ID, Twitter or X. And we'll just click on Twitter and we're going to do create a post. Now, the way that you create a post here is you have to add your authentication. So if I go here, you need your client ID and your client secret key. The way that you get that is you're going to first want to log into Twitter. Like we have here, I'm logged into Twitter. So we've got that going. The next thing we're going to do is you can search for this in Google, uh, but what we're lo really looking for right now 
is we're looking for this developer.x.com, right? So developer.x.com, you log in to here, and this is the developer portal. We're gonna click on this link. You can see this link right here, and you can take a look at any projects that you have. Now, you might need to make a project if there isn't one inside of here, but I have a project right here called the AI Agent 30 Day Challenge, App ID, Authentication Settings, all that jazz. If you wanna authenticate that, you have to hit Edit. You wanna be able to mark this as read and write. I mean, you can do direct messages if you wanna actually go and message people. We'll say web app and then information. You can see a callback from Integromat, OAuth for Twitter. So you'd put this inside of there, this information. And then I put inside, again, for the organizational URL, I just put in my website. It's fine. Now, once we have this in place and we're like, okay, cool, that's saved, we'll hit cancel because I didn't really do anything. We're now gonna get keys and tokens, this button right here. Now, the way that we do this is down here at the bottom, we have client ID and we have client secret key. Now, you can grab this client ID here, copy paste this, and you would put that inside of your client ID section right in here, and just like that. And then in terms of getting your secret key, you can hit regenerate, and that would generate the new one. And then I can hit reveal the secret key, and I would copy that, and I would paste that directly right inside of here. So once we have that done, you'd then be able to log in directly inside of here. Now, we can test this right now, text contents, because what do you want to text to Twitter? And let's just do testing. We're gonna hit okay. So we're not populating with any of the data from here yet. We're just gonna test this to make sure this works and we can run this. So let's run this module only. All right, we got the result. The result is testing. Now let's go up inside of Dylan's Twitter here. We're gonna hit refresh and let's see what comes up. Testing, great. We got that in there. I can keep it or I can delete it. Let's delete it. Now that we have the whole thing hooked up, we have Perplexity AI looking online for new sources of information. Now we could always drop this inside of like a spreadsheet if we wanna review it or do more things with it, but we're having that go here. I'm gonna just hit this button here for alignment. It's now we're having ChatGPT taking that, looking at the information coming in from Perplexity on this side over here. You can see that this is grabbing the choices from here. And then we're gonna be dumping that inside of here. And all we need to do is go here. We can go down to choices, message, and content. This is the tweeting, the tweeting. <laughs> we get that going. We're gonna hit insert, hit okay. And now we have this thing populated across. And so we're gonna run this to see what we get on the other side. Running, Perplexity AI is doing its thing. It's gonna kick it over to Chat GPT, we're now looking at it and comparing it. Ooh, let's see here. Invalid request, more parameters. Okay, so then we're gonna take a look at this. We can see the output bundle. Oh, it's, no, that's too long. That is not, that is not what we're looking for. We're looking for a shorter output. Okay, so let's do this. One way you can do this is we can go down here to how many max tokens. Let's give ourselves 30 tokens, make it even shorter in terms of a tweet. And we'll say, please create a tweet message that is less than 140 characters. Here is the news. Hit OK, hit Save and we're gonna run this again and see the output we get. All right, we got that there. Got the little contents here. Now let's go to Twitter. We're gonna get hit refresh. Boom, recent advancement and in answer revolution industries and ability to delegate tasks, provide expert advice, code, and respond with empathy. Nice. Transformation is, this transformation is. <laughs> Let's see how many characters this is. Maybe we can, we wanna feed it some more characters here and we'll see what we got. 172. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just dial this in a little bit more. Just the characters, allow it to finish its thoughts. But that's just about right. That's basically where we wanna get it to. 
let's do 40 tokens total and let's say 140 characters and we should be good dial that in hit save and then let's run it one more time and see what we get Flexi's grabbing this, kicking over the chat GPT, and now, boom, there we go. Let's see how this thing of a completed sentence. Digital transformation, rapid AI. Okay, cool, nice, add a little text on that. Let's just take a look at the character count. I'm sure it posted it because it has to be under 100. And, yep, has to be under 200, I think 80, I think it is. So we kept it extra low so it can keep inside of there. Now we're gonna hit refresh. There we go. Nice. All right. So this is the flow. And what we can do is we can turn this on to say, instead of every 15 minutes, let's just say we want to have this happen every day. And we want it to be uh, bright and early. So we're going to switch this to 7 a.m. Okay. And then to get this to run and function, all we need to do is turn this on. And now we have our system. All right. So here's what we've done. We grabbed Perplexity AI, sourced the information online. We then had OpenAI through FewShot programming, turn that into a uh, short Twitter prompt with a uh, very few characters, and we kicked that out to Twitter. So this shows you what's possible with the system. Now we could do many more things with this, but essentially you can be able to have AI create Twitter posts for you and do it automatically. So like, comment, subscribe, Put down any AI agents that you want to have done while we're on this 30-day journey down below, and I will see you on the other side. Take care now.